Earlier this week, Zlatan Ibrahimovic shared a photo of his incredible physique, showing that he could be back to playing in no time. And that alongside murmurs that Jose Mourinho and several media outlets reported that Zlatan could be returning to Manchester United on a free transfer. His previous season with United was outstanding and he proved that he could easily cut it in the Premier League despite being 35. With a potential return to Man United on the cards, or just wherever Zlatan ends up, it has got us thinking about who are the best free transfers of all time. So we're going to list them, the top 8 free transfers ever. Robert Lewandowski to Bayern Munich. What a signing this was, after tearing it up for division rivals Borussia Dortmund, Levert shocked the footballing world by announcing his intentions to leave Dortmund on a free and join Munich. Since joining in 2014, he has won three league titles and has already scored more goals for Bayern than he did for Dortmund, netting 110 from just 47 games, that's seven more goals in 40 fewer appearances. Andrea Perlo to Juventus. Just a reminder that AC Milan let one of the greatest midfielders of all time to leave on a free transfer simply because he was getting on a bit. After failing to break back into the Milan team following four months out through injury, Perlo decided to join Juventus and won a whopping four consecutive Serie A titles. Milan fans were left wondering why on earth this was allowed to happen and Perlo just made everything look incredibly easy despite being in his mid-30s. Sol Campbell to Arsenal we should probably tread carefully here because Spurs fans are still incredibly mad about this one. So much so that he is still known as Judas in some parts of North London, as well as a few other words. Anyway, Campbell's contract was up and Spurs offered to make him their highest player ever in the club's history. And though Campbell said that he would like to play in the Champions League, he did promise that he would never ever sign for bitter rivals Arsenal. Naturally, a few months later, he signed for Arsenal and became a proper man-mountain of a defender for the Gunners. He won the title in his first season at Highbury and suffered some horrific on-field abuse. And then he was one of the key players in the astonishing Invincible season. Michael Balak to Chelsea In 2006, when Balak was available on a free, pretty much everybody wanted to sign him, from Man United to Real Madrid. However, Chelsea lured him to the bridge and the German even claimed that he wanted to retire with the Blues. Though he only won one Premier League title there, he was outstanding for Chelsea, helping easily run the midfield and was amongst the best players in the league. He also helped provide a hilarious piece of commentary from John Motson. Just search Obalak and just laugh your head off. Steve McManaman to Real Madrid. Easily England's greatest ever overseas player. Yep, we said it. Maka was seemingly pushed out by Gerard Houllier, who wanted to get rid of the Spice Boys. Plenty of clubs wanted him when they realised that he was available on a free, but moving to Real Madrid just seemed way too good to turn down, and who can blame him? While at the Bernabeu, he won two La Liga titles and two Champions Leagues, and was a bit of a cult hero. Esteban Cambiasso to Inter Milan he could never really break into the first team at Real Madrid. However, after leaving Real, he moved to Inter on a free and went from bench warmer to one of the best midfielders in the world in the space of a few months. He won an astonishing five Serie A titles and the Champions League in 2010. During his first season with Inter, he, alongside Kaka, were named two of the best players in Serie A. JJ Okocha to Bolton. If you really think about this one, it is one of the best deals ever. The fact that Bolton managed to get one of the most talented players in the world to their club is some achievement. Sure he never won anything, but that rainbow flick against Arsenal is enough to get him onto this list alone. He played over 120 games for the Trotters and is a true Premier League cult hero. Paul Pogba to Juventus This is easily the best free signing of all time. When Pogba wanted more first team action at Man United, but Fergie thought otherwise, Pogba ended up leaving on a free transfer, joining Serie A giants Juventus. He won four Serie A titles there, proved that he was easily the best midfielder on the planet, and to get him back to Old Trafford, Man United had to pay a world record 89 million to secure him. And that's our list, who did we miss out? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this video and hit that subscribe button because we're getting really close to 50,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time. Oh, and be sure to head over to our second channel, Footy Feed, for more great daily uploads.